So Class E is finally back from Kyoto, and they got themselves a new surprise. They got themselves a new classmate. And who is this new classmate? It is a technological AI unit computer, a female. And she looks freaking adorable. Like I gotta say, I like her design. It's adorable. It looks kind of feel kind of different and unique among the other students. But yeah, she looks adorable. Except for this girl has some serious firepower packing her ass up. And at first, she does not make a good impression at all. This girl is kind of droid and she is set out to kill Coral Sensei. Pretty much, somebody has decided to send her into a classroom, making her a student, because they all know Coral Sensei does not hurt students. He's not allowed to do that. It's part of the deal. So as class is going by, she's countlessly, relentlessly firing at him every freaking time. And she's making a mess of the classroom, getting on everyone's nerves. Everyone's thinking like, oh man, we gotta clean this up later on. And she's just being freaking annoying. And of course, people are not like it. They even go to the point that they're strapping her up. So, however, one night, Coral Sensei decided to go and give her a lesson. Tell her the value of what it means to be a part of a team, to be part of a classroom. She doesn't understand these things because she was not programmed these things. He is not allowed to hurt her, but however, he is allowed to help her. For as he is a teacher, and that is a teacher's way to guide the student to a better future. Even if it's a machine or human or hell, even an animal. So this is the point I go to tell you, even something in a machine can have a better heart. Than a human can, or not a heart that at least do the right thing, would kind of loud. Later on, she has turned to a beautiful, different person. She is nice, she likes to help out her team. She's even um, helping one of the students cheat by running the answer on her thigh and stuff. And <laughs> it was adorable. I mean, I, said, I just like this character. For some reason, she's just adorable the way she acts and everything. And um, so they all started giving her a name. They named, named her Ritsu, which sounds like an interesting name. It's like a name you don't hear much in anime. A lot of times you'll hear the same names, most of the times where they sound familiar. But Ritsu, I don't know, it sounds good. I like it. So anyways, however, even after adapting to her new style and getting along with everyone, finally, her masters come along and they don't like this, what they see. They don't like it at all. So they try to go back in there and they try to fix her. They say they don't care what happens. All that matters is the assassination. You don't need anything else. So then, of course they don't care about her. Next, um, they're going to use her as an example to be for tools of war. So this has me thinking. So, okay, Carl Sensei destroys the world. Whatever he does or does not, either way, I believe we are going to destroy the world. Because here they are trying to make a machine to stop a monster, but then yet again, they're playing the sell this machine to other countries and make money off of it when they're just going to destroy everything you know because some things just can't grow back and some things just can't come back and that's what humans are doing right now you know they're destroying each other different opinions and views and they make a powerful weapon to defend themselves then they'll sell it off to the highest bidders so they'll do the same thing or use it for the wrong cause and then you know everyone's wiped out so in the end, it makes you wonder who really is the good guy and the bad guy in these situations. Sure, you're using it right now just to stop a monster, but later on you become a monster yourself. So there's no difference in that. Just the fact that you guys just don't want to die. And again, who doesn't want to die? So it puts you in that fact that even after all that, as everyone thought she had came back to her old ways, turns out she rebelled against them. She decided not to do it. She went against her masters, her parents. And she asks Coral Sensei if she was a bad person, but no, she is not. She is just a student. And that's what Coral Sensei showed her. Even if your parents tell you to do something, it is not always right. Don't take it for granted what I'm saying. I'm saying, oh, well, he pretty much said anything they say is right or wrong. But no, some things you can just tell that is wrong and some things you can tell that is right. But sometimes your parents think they'll know the best for you, but sometimes they'll do things for their own selfish needs and desires. It totally throws you under the bus. And that's what goes along with here. So even though it was a mechanical machinery, this moral of this show was that your parents don't always know what's right for you. Sometimes you gotta make decisions for yourself to understand who you are. So that's exactly what I loved about this episode. Nice little lovely lesson episode. However, it wasn't all that. Because it pretty much just focused on the girl. And it wasn't really that funny. But it was adorable. QC because the character of Risu looks 
very adorable, I gotta say myself. But that was it. So I have to give this episode a 7 out of 10. Enjoyable, but not much, really, not much developing. Just got a new member. And that's good. That's a good way to kick off after a big break from their classroom, from Kyoto. I can't wait to see what happens next. I am Macron Man Sign out.